Hey guys, this is Reef Thews for AquariumMunners.com and this is the 29 gallon Core Life BioCube Simple Filter Modification. Now all fish tanks have three different types of filtration. Mechanical, chemical, and biological. Um, in a reef's case, the mechanical filter is out, either the filter pad or the reticulated foam. Um, the chemical is typically a macro pore reef safe carbon and the biological is the live rock in the tank. Um, for this simple filter modification, all you're gonna need are two uh, eShops Reef sump sponges. This is the SLF model. Two of those. I like to use the poly filter as my water polishing pad. You cut this with, uh, to the correct size with scissors. Uh, for a 29 gallon tank, you get about three uses out of this. Um, for my chemical filtration, I like both the Chemi Pure Elite, which has ion exchange resin in it and um, stuff to get rid of phosphates. And I also like to mix the Seachem Purigen uh, with Matrix Carbon. This is the brand new Matrix Carbon package. So I would do either the Seachem or the Chemi Pure. You don't need to do both. Now let's flip this tank around so you can see what it comes with. Now keep in mind, the water flows from this direction to this direction here. Now this chamber was full, which I've already removed, of all these bio balls. That's a lot of bio balls. I don't like using bio balls in saltwater reefs. Um, bio balls are just plastic spheres that are supposed to harbor beneficial bacteria, um, but live rock or reticulated foam does a much better job in my opinion. So I've already removed the bio balls for the sake of the video. Uh, all you gotta do is take out this cartridge here, replaceable cartridge. Remove the top plastic frame right here. And then there's one frame on the bottom, which you gotta really reach down to get and pull that bottom frame out. Like so. So these are the parts we don't need. These cartridges come in a two pack for typically you know, 10 or $12, and you'll no longer have to buy these every month. Fortunately, these uh, filter sponges come cut to the correct size, so all you need to do is open them and just insert them into the tank. Now you can see, I'm trying to stay out of the light here. It's a tight fit, but it is a perfect fit. There's sponge number one. And I'll try to stay out of light the best I can in my office in the middle of the night filming this video for you guys. And now here's sponge number two. Get that first sponge right underneath that little recess right there. Now these sponges, uh, all you're going to do is, you know, rinse these out like a face cloth once a month when you do your water change. Um, I've already taken the liberty of cutting the poly filter pad to size. This acts as a micro polishing uh, filter pad. Just simply place this on top of the first sponge and that'll really polish your water. Now, uh, in this compartment here, you can do um, either a bag, a live rock rubble, if you're into negative space and don't have a lot of live rock in the tank itself. I would definitely put the live rock rubble in a bag and have it between quarter and golf ball size pieces. Um, that way you can pull the rock out, it's easy to rinse out. And you could put your carbon in this spot. But since I'm gonna have plenty of live rock in the tank, all I'm going to do is uh, take the Tammy Pure and simply drop it in place. So there's my water polishing pad, my mechanical filter, uh, my chemical filtration here, and this pad acts as another secondary mechanical filter to keep particles from getting back to the sump. So this was the Core Life 29 gallon BioCube simple filter modification. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for many more educational videos on AquariumRunners.com. 
This is Reef Thews. Thanks so much for watching.